And with these cold temperatures, you gotta have all your skin covered up. I have owned my Lester River Bushcraft Wool Boreal Anorak for over a year and a half. And I've had it out in some extreme weather conditions, including multiple sub-zero camping adventures. You see, it's a nice sunny day here, about 11 below. Taking a little break here, despite how cold it is. But the good news is, is I stayed warm. It is currently negative 24 degrees in the Boundary Waters under a partly sunny sky. It's minus 18 degrees Fahrenheit. It's about Two below. Stay tuned for a thorough overview and review. Lester River Bushcraft has been handcrafting these 100% wool anoraks in Duluth, Minnesota since 2009. They market the shirts as a wool shelter for your woodland pursuits. What exactly is a boreal anorak? Well, boreal means that it is located in a northern climate, an area with boreal waters, or an area dominated by coniferous forests. Now, an anorak is an Eskimo word, and it is for a jacket that is waterproof and worn in cold climates. As soon as I received my anorak, I knew that this was a quality piece of clothing. The wool is super thick, and you could tell by the seams and the craftsmanship that a lot of care was put into making this product. Let's go over some of the features on the shirt. Let's start with the hood. And I wanna show you just how big this hood is. It's a very generous size. So what I often do when it's sub-freezing out, like it is today, is I will first put on my cap. I have this fleece balaclava that I put over the top. And then I can pull my hood from my down puffy over the top of that. And then if I want, I pull the hood from the anorak over the top of that. So there's a lot of room in here so you can layer up. Uh, the hood also has a drawstring on it so you can tighten that down as you want. And you'll see down here, down by my neck, there's this extra flap of wool here. This is what they call the gauntlet, and it's really nice. It works as a scarf, or if it's cold, you can pull it up over your mouth. And uh, you can see that it has a paracord drawstring. So between the drawstring on the hood and the drawstring down here on your chest, you can really compress things down if it's windy or you want to tighten things up. Now the sleeves are extra long, and what I like about that is if it's really cold out and you're wearing thin gloves like this, you can pull the sleeves down and it helps keep your hands warm. Now on each cuff, there are two sets of stainless steel snaps. And that allows two different adjustments if you'd like to uh, draw your wrist and, and keep them cold from keeping drafts from coming up. I like to le leave it loose for venting and also with this generous size uh, of cuff here, it allows you to put some bigger uh, mittens or gloves on and tuck it up under the shirt. Now, if we go all the way down to the bottom of the shirt, you'll see that it is a longer cut. It covers your hips, it covers my butt, so it helps keep the bottom warm. And if you're gonna sit down, 
a little extra layer for waterproofing. And also you can tighten up. It has another drawstring along the bottom that will allow you to tighten this up if, if you want to, or if you want to tighten it up a little bit higher. The front pouch is one of my favorite features on this Anorak. You can see that it's super big. It runs all the way from the bottom of my chest down past my waistline. And you can put big things in here. You can put some super big Arctic uh, mittens in here. Uh, you know, you can stuff your hands in here to keep them warm. I often put my tripod in here and you can even fit a thermos inside. Also within the pouch, it is reinforced. So it is not going to rip and it's super durable. Within that pouch, there is a zippered pocket that you could stuff small things like your keys or other items that you don't want to fall out of the pouch. Now within the pouch, there's also two D rings. These D rings would allow you to lash tools or your keys or something onto those D rings onto a paracord. And in the front of the pouch, there is an additional three pockets. So these pockets right now, I have a hand warmer stuffed in there and there's all sorts of things that you can keep organized within this large pouch. Lester River touts the anorak as being ruggedly constructed with a generous fit. There's no arguing with the ruggedly constructed. This thing is very, very well constructed, almost bulletproof. As for the generous fit, I am uh, about six feet tall. When I ordered it, I weighed 185 pounds. Currently, I'm down to about 160 pounds. This is an extra large. I kind of wish that I had a large now, but having the extra large allows me to really layer up what is underneath my anorak. So I'm gonna show you exactly how many layers I can put underneath it. So, we start off with a Merino, I know it's Merino, Merino wool base layer. And then over the top, I put a uh, normal wool, normal, quarter zip underneath. And then I put uh, my REI Magma 850 down puffy as another mid layer underneath. Then I can put a second down puffy on over the top of that. And then comes the Lester River wool boreal anorak. Put back on my cap. Put back on my fleece balaclava. If I want, I can put on my uh, hood for my down jacket, which I don't really need right now. And of course, the hood from the anorak over the top. So you can see, still plenty of room to move around. I'm not like the kid from the Christmas story. Lots of room, really comfortable. So this durable wool is pre-shrunk in all wool. Not only is it durable, but it is antibacterial. It is flame retardant. It's resistance to oils and dirts. So this thing stays clean. It's durable, especially when you're sitting around the campfire and you know you've been there if you're wearing a down jacket and it burns a hole right in your down jacket you don't have to worry about that with wool or processing your firewood or walking through the the forest with trees poking out this thing can take the abuse sounds like a great jacket right well it's not perfect 
I'm not getting paid to do this video so I can say bad things about it. The biggest beef that people probably have with this Anorak is the price. This thing cost $335. That's a lot of coin. In fact, it took me a year before I got up the gumption to sprinkle out that money and pay for a $335 jacket that I'm just going to wear when I go camping. That being said, this is 100% quality wool, durable, handmade construction right here in the United States. So you really get what you pay for. And as they say, buy once, cry once. I am so happy that I actually paid that money and have this thing because I know I'm going to have this thing probably till the day that I die. Uh, and it's a really nice piece of clothing. Another word of warning, if you think that you're gonna get a nice wool boreal like this uh, through social media and through Amazon and the cheap Chinese version that costs $60, well, you're gonna be unpleasantly surprised when you actually receive that in the mail, if you ever receive it in the mail, because they are lying. They use photos of the Lester River bushcraft in their ads and when you actually get it, it's a very thin piece of material. I've seen in some instances where it had zero wool and in other instances where it had wool, uh, it was super thin. People are showing that you could actually see through the fabric. So you get what you pay for. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. The only other negative about this Lester River Bushcraft Boreal Anorak is it is heavy. This is an extra large and it weighs three pounds. Now, it isn't made for the ultra lightweight long distance backpacker to shove it in a little stuff sack. This is made for winter and cold weather activities and camping. And I love it just for that. You know, sometimes if I do go uh, hiking, oftentimes in the winter, I'll have a pulk instead of a backpack but this thing takes up a lot of room and it's not light. Now I know a lot of people, including myself, that have purchased this Anorak. So all of them, including myself, I'll rank it five out of five stars. This thing is great. Now I didn't quite get the $335 price point until it actually arrived. Then I'm like, all right, I get it. You know, it's handcrafted, it's, it's very, very well done, good materials. This isn't an item that you're gonna have to replace in three to five years. This thing is gonna last me for the rest of my life. And $335 isn't that long if you spread it over that time period. So if you got the funds, do it. I'm gonna take this sucker back out. In two weeks, we're going up to our annual Boundary Waters uh, canoe area death march is what we call it. Last year it was negative 27, negative 47 wind chill. My buddy Miyagi and I are both sporting these. If you want to see that video, go ahead and hit subscribe, hit the bell notification. They'll tell you as soon as the video comes out and I'll have all sorts of photos on Instagram and on Facebook. I even have some Midwest backpacker merch available in Teespring. It's negative five out now. I'm not cold at all. I don't know if I even need these gloves. Okay, I need the gloves. But uh, it's beautiful out. Nobody out here bugging me. Super quiet. I'm going to go for a hike. And uh, who knows? Maybe I'll see you out on the trail.